What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Today we are test driving a 2023 Subaru Crosstrek Sport. And this is a sporty car. This, of course, is the Crosstrek with the larger engine, a 2.5 liter with 182 horsepower. And um, as far as these kind of cute micro SUVs go, your HRVs, your CHRs, if they still make that one, kind of the mainstream models. Uh, this is the hot rod of the group with the 2.5 liter engine, either in the Crosstrek Sport or the Crosstrek Limited. Nice ride on the highway, relatively refined. I'm doing just over 70 on a halfway decent highway. And the ride on these has always been very good. This is a pretty old design. Um, it's probably, this 23 will probably be the last model year for it. They might be able to get one more out of it, but I think it's gonna have a new design come 2024 model year. But even still, this does feel like a modern car. It's missing a few little amenities. Wireless charging is not an option. Wireless Apple CarPlay is not an option. But, you know, for the most part, everything that you would expect is here. And the car certainly drives very, very well. Let's get it on a little bit of a twistier road and see how it does up there. Let's maybe not get a ladder dropped on us today. All right, so here we are on a slightly twistier road and uh, here as well, the Crosstrek Sport comports itself in a very enjoyable manner. Give this bicyclist some room here. I've always been very impressed with the chassis on this car. Uh, it's planted in the curves, but it gives you very nice ride quality as well. I drove a new Honda HRV on this road. I found the HRV to be slow in a straight line, but it was better on a curvy road. The uh, steering and the handling is relatively good on that car. So a little bit better there, but there's no way that an HRV would take off uphill like so. And I think the steering feel on the Honda is probably slightly better than the Subaru, but the overall capability of the chassis is, if not equal, then the Subaru is actually more capable um, due to the all wheel drive system. It does kind of give you a little bit better handling in the curves. The Honda does handle well, but if you just want to talk about driving dynamics, the engine just kills it if you consider yourself a keen driver. If you really don't care about how a car drives or it's not that important to you or you're used to driving a slow car anyway, then the HRV may suit you just fine. Um, it certainly doesn't drive poorly, it's just slow. And it still boggles my brain that um, this Subaru gets better gas mileage than the HRV seems almost incomprehensible based on the fact that the HRV has a smaller engine and it's two wheel drive, but I don't know. I can't explain some things in life. But yeah, this car is a very nice car to drive. It's funny, it's in its last year of production and I would still say that of the non-premium subcompact luxury SUVs, I think it's still the king. And I'm not, I sold Subarus for a long time, so there could be some bias there. I've had six of them, but uh, I never really liked this car personally. Uh, I like it a lot better with the 2.5 liter engine in it, but eh, it's just not, I mean, to me, it's just an Impreza on stilts and I've had two Imprezas, so I'd rather just get an Impreza because I actually prefer cars that are lower to the ground. So I never quite understood why people fall all over themselves for this car. They love the way it look, 
I don't see it, but it's not my business to see it. Um, I'm no longer a Subaru salesperson and I'm realized I'm actually kind of sick of these cars in a way, but this is still a very nice car to drive. I can't let my personal biases uh, hamper that fact, you know, it just is what it is. Very capable. You have the dual mode X mode so that you can go through mud and sand and deep snow and all that stuff. And of course the standard all wheel drive. Cross tracks typically hold their value very well. Good passenger room, decent cargo room. It's a smaller car, but it's all right. And what can you say? It is a very nice driving car. That's pretty much all I have to say about the old Crosstech Sport. I'm gonna go home and edit these videos. I don't need to drive it anymore. I've done enough miles in Subarus in my life. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything, leave them in the comments. Try to answer them for you as best I can. Subscribe to my channel and like my video and etc. etc. And have a fantastic day. Bye bye. Performance-wise, it goes to the Crosstrek for sure. I mean, it's not even a question.